Hi there, join me in this video when I visit the roaches again. Now you may have seen a video that I filmed a few months ago at these rocks here behind me known as the Roaches in the Peak District. Now for that particular video, I came here for the sunrise. Tonight I'm here for the sunset, so the lighting is going to be particularly different. It's a little bit hazy, so that will probably help the photography because the light will be a little bit more diffused, but hopefully getting towards sunset, I might get some nice colors in the sky. But either way, I know I'm really going to enjoy my photography. If you saw my last video, you will have seen me take a picture from this spot and I compared it to a picture I took nearly 20 years ago. So, in this different lighting conditions, I thought it'd be worthwhile having another go tonight. The image will be slightly different tonight because the sun's from a completely different direction. There are now leaves on the trees, which wasn't in the previous shot. Um, and what I've had to do, because the wind is quite high tonight, I don't know whether you can tell from the microphone, what I've done is I've just lifted the ISO ever so slightly so I can bring the shutter speed up to try and minimize the movement in the branches. I may still have caught a little bit of it, but it should be minimal. Uh, so to do that, I've had to rise the ISO to about 400. So the plan is tonight to have a little walk back up to Doxy Pool that I visited in my last video. I'm going to take it nice and easy. I've got plenty of light. I've probably got about an hour and a half before the sun sets. Uh, I'll just see what I can spy on the way. Hopefully save my knees a little bit. Just here behind the camera, there's a nice patch of light catching the rocks and it's flanked by two trees that makes a really nice composition. What I've had to do is I've exposed for the sky, which has left the foreground a little bit dark, but I know that because of the dynamic range of the Z6 Mark II, when I get back to the camera, I can lift details out of that shadowy part in Camera Raw. just taken this image here behind me. Now there's a tree that's fallen down and the way that the sunlight is just catching the foliage on the rocks is really striking. But the perspective that the lens gives makes the trees on either side almost seem to lean in, which frames the image really nicely. So I quite like that one. As I've said before, it's really worth revisiting locations in different lighting conditions because this is spectacular tonight. It's not perhaps going to be the best sunset, um, but the way that the sun is just catching all of these rocks and lighting the place up with a lovely warm golden side light really is just magical. A good tip when you're out and about is to remember to turn around and look in the direction you've just come from because I would have missed this composition here behind me because I'm walking into the sun and I turned around and I saw this great tree here that had fallen over so I've got the roots and just here there's a fence that's acting as a kind of leading line across the path down into the scene. So that's really nice and I could have missed it if I hadn't have just turned around. Thank you. 
I found a really nice composition here. Um, I've got some white flowers here on the, the ground and the rocks in the background and some really nice sun effects going on. Um, I don't know quite how it's going to turn out. I've tried several different um, techniques. I've tried some exposure stacking and I've also put five stops of neutral density filter on the front, a graduated filter that is, to just try and hold back the sun and maybe I'll be able to do something with it when I get it in the computer. You'll probably be able to tell that as the sun is dropping, it's starting to be hidden behind a bit of cloud that's on the horizon. And so that golden glow that I'd got earlier has disappeared. It's still fairly nice lighting. It's very diffused, but unfortunately it's not quite that, got that warmth that it had before. There's some interesting clouds in the sky, so something good could still happen. We've got about 45 minutes before sunset is due. So who knows, fingers crossed, I'm about five minutes away from Doxy Pool, so something could still happen yet, so stay tuned. I found a nice composition here. What I've done is I've turned the camera into portrait um, orientation to take the shot because the focal point is a tall tree that's just to the right of where the sun is. So that makes the composition work a lot better. I've kept the neutral density filters on, the graduated filters. There's five stops worth still, just to hold back the brightness of the sky. I'm making sure that I keep hold of both tripods, this one and the one that the camera that I'm filming on, because it's really quite windy up here. And um, I'm just a bit frightened that I'm right on the edge and the camera's going to end up at the bottom somewhere. But I'm still quite happy with that composition. Don't forget to click like, subscribe and the bell notifications to be informed of all of my future content. That way you won't miss out on anything that I release in the future and it really helps the channel. So, as you can see, I've arrived at Doxy Pool. I don't quite know what's going to happen with the light. Looking at the sky, there are some interesting colours starting to appear, so I'm hopeful about that. I've lost the golden glow that was on the landscape uh, because of the cloud bank that the sun has gone behind, but it's still tantalisingly there. Something could still happen. We've got about 20 minutes before the sun sets. I'm in the right location at the right time. All we can do now is hope that nature plays her part. At the moment the sun is really playing ball, you can see it just here. If I turn down the exposure slightly, you can see that it's an amazing colour in the sky gone. Um, and what I've done is I've set up in a composition just down here with a bit of an old tree that I've found. I've angled it slightly so it's facing into the composition, but it really is nice. I've still got the neutral density grads on the front to hold back the sky, but it really works well. So I'm going to carry on while that sun's still there. I've underexposed this shot on purpose so you can see what the sky is doing. It's really kicked off and I found a great composition just here with two clumps of grass. I think it's a shot of the night by far. I'm going to try and get a few more shots while the sky is still really bright and then I've got about a 20 minute walk back to the car before it goes dark.
That's been a really enjoyable video to make. What a cracking sunset that turned out to be. I'm really glad I made the effort to come out. It didn't look hopeful at one point because it was very hazy, but I think that just helped really light the clouds up. And there's still even a little bit of um, color now in the sky behind me. But unfortunately, that 20 minute walk back to the car is calling and I don't want to get there in the dark. I hope you've really enjoyed that video and if you have you can do me a really big favour by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications. If you want to leave me any comments do so down below or nip over to my Instagram that's at the Oakton Photography and leave me a comment there. You can also see lots of my pictures and some that you won't see in videos. Watch out for next week's video that goes live at 4 o'clock on Sunday. But all that's left now from this brilliant night here on the Roaches is to say stay safe and I'll see you soon be some light in the way I'm falling over now. Ooh, something still could have happened. I've never looked at the camera once. When so how do you can quite a nice shot oh, blue 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 back for the camera back for the camera got it in one